Okay, so let's see how we can add uh, code cells uh, to PyCharm. This is version um, 18.3.4. Hopefully this will uh, keep working in the, uh, for future versions as well. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is go to settings and go to plugins. And uh, so these, these are the installed plugins. Uh, it's better to go to the marketplace first and uh, just search for uh, cell. And this is the one you want. As you can see, it's already installed. So um, if it wasn't, I would just have to click on that button. And then uh, when it's installed, uh, just make sure that it's uh, th th this option here is selected. So after that is done, you may want to configure that a little bit. Um, so there will be a new option on the menu on the left here. Um, just click on Python cell mode. And uh, you may want to change the uh, the regular expression for the delimiter. Um, he, here it was something different, but um, I've uh, I've made it so that it's compatible to um, uh, what uh, what Spider uses. Spider is another pretty popular um, Python IDE. So so if you just read through that, basically it says that starting from the beginning of the line, uh, it expects a hashtag, uh, and then uh, and then two percentage signs, and then um, anything else or nothing. Um, uh, so, and, and when you want to insert a limiter, I'm just made it a bit simpler. Just, just these three characters here. Uh, so um, that's uh, that's for setting up your cells. And uh, if you want, um, also you may want to change the um, the key uh, the keyboard shortcuts. So if you go to key map here and uh, search for run. Uh, actually, cell a better. Yep. So if you go here, um, what you may change want to change is is this one here, uh, or potentially also this one. This one has a default um, control G, and this one has um, uh, control B, uh, run cell and move to next. Uh, but you can change that if you want. Uh, you can add a shortcut, or you can even remove. Uh, this one here, if you want, or remove this one here. Um, so I've added, um, actually, I've added Shift and Enter, which which I think is the default for Jupyter Notebook. Um, so uh, yeah, if you want to do that, you just click on that, and then if you go right here, um, actually I just clicked Backspace and it recorded that, but that's not what I want. I I, I wanted Shift and Enter, uh, so just press Shift and Enter, and then OK. But I'm not going to do that now because it's already in there. So uh, I, I, th I think that's uh, that makes sense. And uh, uh, well, you have to click apply. I'm going to click on cancel because I'm already done. So let's see how it works. Uh, so let's make a new cell. Uh, as you can see, when, when you type these three characters, um, uh, the run cell arrow will appear here. It will give you the option of running the cell with a mouse. Uh, but uh, I, I usually prefer the, the keyboard shortcuts. So let's uh, let's define couple of things and that let's make a new cell and let's uh, let's see what happens so shift and enter here it just assigns those values and then a plus b there, there's uh, there's your output so that's pretty much what you have to do there, there you know PyCharm is very flexible you can change many things if you want but um, these are usually my preference, so I hope you find this helpful and uh, thank you for watching.